Hey, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to start working Adobe Photoshop 3, although you can use GIMP if you want. And I'm just going to open up this Windows image here. And uh, I'm going to use this as my base image for what I'm doing. And the section I want is just here. It's my painting brush here. I'm going to basically cut out this part here. And, uh, you know, just use it as our basic image for this. Now, ignore the noises going on in the background, by the way. That's the great chuggy 3D Palace duplicator at work. I'm going to cut out a piece bigger than I need. Control X. By the way, you can get that image, you know, or something similar to it from... There's loads of free sites that have this kind of thing, so just have a good look around. Okay, now one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a guide, or rather a couple of guides. So I'm just going to draw a box in a new layer here and here and across here and maybe one across here and these guides are going to help me to try and straighten out any parts that are incredibly wonky and really need to be straightened out so you'll notice I'm kind of laying them in places Right there, and there. Okay, that should do for the moment. It's a pretty comprehensive basic collection. Okay, now I'm going to make those invisible and just select here. Let's see. Uh, merge visible. And then turn this one back on again. There we go. Okay, now, over here in my layer, I'm going to go to my image uh, canvas size, and I'm going to change this to, I don't know, it's a temporary thing, so don't worry, 37 by, you know, 55 or whatever. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, use my magic wand tool just to select the borders. And then do a shift control I. Now I'm going to go to my marquee tool, then right click and go to free transform, right click again and I'm going to go to distort. And this is going to help me basically straighten my image out. Okay, start here. And what we're doing is basically kind of pulling these things around, trying to get them to line up. As you see, we've got enough kind of reference points and corner points, really, to be able to do this. So it's just going to be a case of being patient. There we are. We need to increase the size of this window a bit. OK, let's see down here. Do that there. Now this line here is not straight, so... Just constantly got to keep an eye on what you're doing here. Okay. And... This needs to come down more. And in. Okay, and as you can see, we're kind of really straightening this window out now. Uh, it was quite wonky. Okay, now if I press here, over on my uh, Move tool, and just apply the transformation, it'll then take a second or two, and do a Control D. I can now delete this shape up here. And you see that we've got a window that's, you know, a lot straighter than it was. You can see how we've had to affect it in order to make it straighter. Okay, now, let's go in and have a look at our parts that make up the inside of the window and again I'm just going to use my straightening tool <laughs> I call it a straightening tool box and there now this cross beam here this cross brace or whatever the hell it is is absolutely fine that piece is fine and that piece there is fine the piece that isn't fine well you can see can't you so, if I go to layer 1, 
pull out just a little bit and I'm going to select the frame of this actually no rather than selecting the frame of this it might be easy just select the inside frame of the window it's nice and dark down there anyway right click free transform to get nice and close I'm just going to push this in a bit which is going to leave a little bit of a gap down this side but don't worry about that, we can fix it ok that looks fine so go back to move just apply my transform delete those layers again and control D now with this shape here obviously we don't want mystery shape kind of emptiness stuff so let's do a quick control marquee here, control C, control V press my V and just do that now control E just to flatten it down in the background ok that's looking much better ok now next thing I'm going to do then is basically trim off what's going on inside these windows because sure they're interesting but so this will also mean if I do this that you can put whatever you want inside here later on when you decide you know what's going to go inside these windows people waving at you I don't know so I'm just going to delete that just doing them one at a time being careful with my marquee here I mean I know you have a lot more time than I do so you can get a much more accurate job than I'm doing but uh, you know, just enjoy yourself and relax. Take your time. You're not on a deadline if you're doing a training DVD. You're not going to miss out on those all important points, whatever it is. Okay, and uh, along here. Let go and just delete. Okay, that leaves lives leaves us that and you can change these to whatever the heck colour you want uh, let me see, I'm going to change these to a, maybe a light grey for the moment there we go right now if I pull out I need to decide which parts of this I'm going to crop now if we look at the way the bricks run you've got different bricks on this side to the bricks on that side there and this is going to cause a problem when it comes to well a couple of things mainly uh, the division of windows you know so what I can do is cheat and put a little something down the side here just to stop that happening so let me see uh, I'm going to grab these bits going down here like that do a control C file new put them over here control V them in ok now what I want to do is move these over to this side ok and have them face the other way so an easy thing to do would be just you know Rotate canvas and just flip it horizontal. Control A, Control C. And now I can just Control V, dump it over here. Like that. And I'll move it to round about there. Let's try and match it in. You can see how the bricks are different heights now as well really trying to avoid kind of too much patching if I can help it okay that's fine now what I'm going to do is take and I'll need to drop down into this layer here this selection here just underneath there control C take in this window so you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to do an image rotate 
type horizontally again. AC. Control V. Okay. And that gives us these seams that I needed in order to make this part work. And control E just to flatten this down again. Now I'm going to come from down here and just drag all the way up just to the top of here. Like that. Now I've got too much in my marquee, so just control D. Do that again. Just being as careful as I can for the parts I'm selecting. Going for that real Brazil office window kind of look here. Not Brazil as in the country, but as in the movie. Okay, Control X. Get rid of these. The way you work in Photoshop is entirely yours. I just tend to work in this kind of chip shop, this kind of chip chop method. Okay, uh gonna have to move these down a bit. This isn't quite right here as you can see. So control D, zoom in. Now this area here, easy to fix. I can just use a clone stamp. So I'm just going to control here in the middle. Sorry, Alt click here in the middle. And then drag over to about here. Just give me a chance to kind of do a little bit of repairing. There we are. Excellent. Ish. Okay, now this middle part here obviously needs fixing. So we can do that. And again, I'm just going to click here in the middle. Find a good part here, just on the beam. Click. Then keeping Alt held down, I'm going to go here and let go. It's going to allow me to draw straight in. Be very careful, remember. Not the whole less is more nonsense. Just the whole if you draw all over your painting and make it look crap, then you're going to be upset and blame me. There we go. Now I've got rid of that piece of irritating detail. And down here, something that's going to appear on every single pitch is this as well, so let's get rid of that. and maybe this blemish up top as well. If we're tiling something, even if it's a window which people are going to know is tiled, then it's best to kind of get rid of some of these bits that are really going to stand out like a sore ass. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, just looking over this again, make sure everything's straight, and it is. Down the bottom here. I'm going to get rid of this chip. Okay. A little bit harsh there, as you can see. So I'll just undo some of that. Do this chip again. Alt click here. Do. 
and then down there on this stain down there on that stain you'll notice that I moved down to the level it's at just so I'm getting the kind of shade correct as much as possible I'm hopelessly colour blind as a lot of you know so I do have to sometimes just use the palette tools oops there we go then that's pretty much genericised our window to the nth degree times a billion the lighting on it's fairly standard and uniform there's some reflection here but uh, it's actually nothing bad it's just reflection off this window which is what you get anyway really okay uh, and the light's pretty uniform as well so I'm quite pleased with that maybe possibly undarken this bit here just a little let's have a look now let me see we've got our dodge and we've got our burn tools here yep so I'm going to use our dodge set the diameter to something manageable and holding down shift so click and shift and going backwards and forwards just a couple of times in here just to kind of lighten up the top a bit maybe just click in this corner a little bit more and here click down here as well again I'm just using shift while I'm doing that and up here Increase the size of our brush a bit, tiny bit more. There. Okay, so as you see, we now have our uh, basic window. So in the next one, we're going to turn this into our displacement map, and we're going to use our displacement map in 3D Studio Max with this to make our initial window. Okay, so till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next bit.